Hi everybody, my name's Ollie. Welcome to another edition of The Watch Collector. Today we're going to look at not one, not two, but three. In fact, Le Triptyque uh, from Louis Erard, um, uh, collaborating with Alan Silberstein from a couple of years ago. Um, I remember when these watches came out and I thought they were completely out there and was really, really intrigued by them. This is the first time I've got to have a look at them, so uh, I'm, I'm super interested to see how they look and feel. Um, but before we do, uh, obligatory wristwatch check. Um, today I'm wearing the Arnold & Son Nebula 41.5 in stainless steel. So, uh, as I mentioned, I remember when this um, triumvirate of watches came out um, from Louis Erard, and it really caused a bit of a sensation. Um, in collaboration, as, as I've already mentioned, with Alba Silberstein. And the idea re really was to create kind of a gift box of three watches, all the same, but slightly different, all with, uh, but, all, but nonetheless, with that kind of base level of fun factor. So you had um, Le Semen, uh, Le, Regulateur, Le Regulateur De, and um, the uh, Monipousseur Chronometre. So what we'll do is we'll work through those in, uh, in order. And uh, no, let's let's see. So they're, they're all in um, grade five titanium. Uh, forgive me, it's not grade five. I don't believe it's, they are in titanium though. So let's start off with Le Regulateur. Now you'll see that um, it's got that uh, very typical Louis Arad presence, uh, and of course he's uh, it's come to the light again very recently with their collaboration with Konstantin Chaikin um, and the combination of, of their sort of signature almost like cartoon like fun factor dials with uh, kind of almost like a, a, a drunk joker. Um, so you've, you've got the squiggly second hands, um, you've got the you know funky bright, um, bright yellow and black, it's, it's got great contrast and uh, I think probably the thing I like most about this on top of the, as I said the fun factor is the way that they've done the case. Um, I think that the, the the kind of the satin and brushed elements of it actually really work quite well. Um, I'm kind of trying to think of a, another case like it actually, um, but it, it definitely adds to that element of um, this is this is a watch that really doesn't take itself too seriously. Um, if you flip it over onto the other side, yes, a Velcro strap. Not quite sure about that one, but. Um, but uh, we will see how that feels when I put it on. Um, as you can see, it's titanium, uh, uh, 100 meter water resistance, uh, and they created Le Triptyque out of uh, a limited edition of 178. So that's uh, Le Regulateur. Let's have a look at Le Semen. Now this one takes the fun factor a step further. So if I, if I pull out the crown and I move the hands away, you hopefully will be able to see that just above the date, you've got a smiley face. Uh, and actually, as you work your way through the week, uh, the, the watch tells you whether you should be happy or, or sad, or maybe how, whether the watch is happy or sad. Um, and let me, let me show you how that, how that works. So as I wind it through, now at 12 o'clock midday, all the way through to midnight, bang, this one goes red. Whether you said that as your, as your Monday, maybe you're a very happy worker um, or you want it out for your Friday because it's coming to the weekend. Um, that's a, it's quite a, a fun and funky way of, of telling you which day of the week it is. Um, and actually, I, I like that. I like it when watch manufacturers um, can almost laugh at themselves a little bit and hopefully we're laughing with them. Um, overall, very cool. Um, a very, very similar look, of course, um, to Le Regulateur. Um, and the back is almost identical. Hopefully that's coming out too. Again, telling you one of 78, one of 178 and in titanium, with of course the same Velcro strap. Um, the last is uh, the monopusher. So let's, again, let's move that, move the hands out the way. Maybe let's move my fingers out the way this time. You can see one press of the monopusher at three o'clock starts the chronograph. One to stop it, and one to reset. All these three together are about 11,000 Swiss francs. So, you know, three and a half thousand or so, 3,000, just under 4,000 Swiss francs each. Um, for, for that level, actually, the, the monopusher and the chronograph function starts and stops 
really quite nicely and, and I think probably um, does so with a tractability and feel of a more expensive watch. It's quite impressive. There's a bit of give in the pusher as you press. You can feel a bit like an accelerator on a car. It's not immediate when you press it, but as soon as you actually engage the gears, makes a satisfying click. And there's no judder when it resets to zero. That's impressive. Let's throw one of these on, see how they wear. I mean, I have a, a Velcro strap on my, um, on my Speedmaster Moon Swatch. So of course that's a, you know, two, 300 pound piece. Um, this is at 4,000. Somewhat controversial. Um, extremely comfortable, as you might guess, bear in mind it's on a Velcro strap. And actually, as a sporty, fun watch, it works perfectly. Um, I wasn't expecting to say that. Um, it has the combination of the lightness of the strap with the lightness of the titanium. Um, bear in mind the bulk of the watch, this is hefty. This is, uh, the, the, um, the, the depth is high. Uh, I don't know the, the exact number, but it's got to be at least 14 or 15 mil. Um, actually works really well with a white t-shirt um, in the summer. No, I, I, I was, as I said, I wasn't expecting to say this, but actually really impressed with how it, wear, with how it wears. Um, and, and actually it has, it does have that fun factor, but it still looks like a serious watch. Um, there are some brands out there that, that have kind of tried to delve into that more fun factor and it doesn't quite work. Um, comes across as a little bit Mickey Mouse, as it were, without being an actual Mickey Mouse watch. Um, this one, I think, does work very well. The collaboration with Alan Silverstein um, has, um, has been affected brilliantly on the wrist. I think it looks great um, and overall actually very impressed. So this is it's actually quite a, a nice collection, um, Le Triptique of very individual watches. You're unlikely to ever see any of these again. Um, 11,000 Swiss francs is a lot, of course, um, but at the same time you're getting watches that are pretty much unique and you're unlikely to see anywhere else. So that's the Louis Erard uh, Le Triptique uh, in collaboration with Albert Silverstein. I'd love to know what you, what you think about it. That's enough for now. Thanks so much for joining. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.